everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern and to part four of building the Saracen's Head pub. Now then, in front of us we have a base for the pub. Um, I've added a little bit extra just in case I decide to put a yard in the back of the pub but uh, that's yet to be decided but this gives me a rough size um, of the pub and where I can place it now I could place it here which means I'll have to get rid of this head shunt stroke siding all the way up to this point which I very hardly ever use anyway and it would increase um, actually the area for other buildings as well because originally what was planned for here was this side in here was going to lead to a um, cattle yard construct market as it were I was going to build a, a market building here for the for the cows to be um, um, sold off and, and what have you onto maybe the slaughterhouse or whatever but it's, it's got potential this area so this is one of the areas where it could go it would mean knocking down this wall still don't know why I built the wall like that but I uh, just thought it adds a nice feature but this is one of the areas and another area or another idea for where the pub was going to go is here just in front of uh, the storage sites because as you can see there's a plan for a road to come across that point and through here so I could lose these two sidings and maybe move that shed further on to the right but still keep the sidings but uh, just move them further over to the right and then that would allow me to possibly add more buildings here but uh, yeah so that's a, another place where it could go another area is just here I could uh, extend the baseboard out a little bit and create a little street there and build a road and it could go there I did think of the idea of uh, placing it here, not too far away from High Shields Station, but I think that would uh, make this area look a little bit too crowded. Another idea is it could go here. But the thing is, when I <laughs> designed this layout, it was all about getting us much track work down as you can see there's virtually no space for buildings so it's a lovely dilemma but uh, we'll just have to see where this building ends up. Putting the dilemma to one side, let's concentrate on building this pub. Last week we painted, we did the door arch, and also we've added some fireplaces, one in there and one in one of the bars. So, the next thing we want to do is concentrate on detailing the bars downstairs. So, let's make a start. Tiny Signs by Gage Master. Uh, these are great western ones. Uh, if you look closely, they're for Painton, Devon and the areas. And as Sorensen's head is from Bath. I thought it would only be a 
appropriate to use these um, to decorate the walls. So that's what I'm using to decorate the walls. So apart from pictures um, hanging up on the walls, the next thing I'm going to add is a dartboard. Um, every pub has a dartboard. So I'm just using this um, four mil washer to draw around to get a radius. Using a black pen, really pressing hard. We have a complete circle. Right, so the next thing we want to lightly find the center. some lines through it to try and create the 20 spaces on a dartboard which I don't think we're going to get because the pen is too thick but uh, you can get what I'm after Something like that. <sighs> It'd be a lot easier just to bloody print one out. Shrink one down to size. Anyway, this is what I've come up with. It's uh, far, far better than the uh, the last attempt I had at a dartboard, the one that went into South Shield staff room. So yeah, that'll do me. Next thing we're going to concentrate on is the bars. I've got a little bit of a drawing here and if you noticed I put some hand pumps there in the middle of this bar and uh, let's see how we get on. Um, it's this one's 42, uh, 41 millimeters by 16 millimeters deep, 13 millimeters high, and the bar top itself is going to be roughly seven millimeters. Um, we're going to have the entry and exit here for the bar this side. Um, this one will be situated on the right side of the building, and there'll be a carbon copy on the other side in the other room on the left hand side. So let's. Uh, see how we get on. Um, I've made a start um, just using some thin card but what I will be doing is I'll be putting a strengthening piece on the inside and a floor in so that when um, the time is right I can be able to put a figure in there behind at the bar. So the shape of the bar is coming along quite well now. Um, so this works out at roughly about 13 mil tall, and we haven't got the top on yet. Um, so we have a two mil border, uh, 1.5 across the top, and then we have these little infill pieces to create the panels. Um, they're 8.5 and because this card has a glossy back I'm having to use super glue to um, glue the card to card um, because the ordinary rocket glue just will not take so I'm having to be very careful on how I'm going to space these apart and make sure that uh, the pieces are cut correctly and fit before applying the super glue. 
Right, so that's one bar finished. Um, as you can see, I have added a couple of pumps to this bar. Um, and the bar top there is lifted up for the staff to walk in and out. So i just got to build a opposite hand to this one. And here we have a better understanding of what's going on inside the pub, inside the two bars. As you can see, I have now made the two bars. Um, there are a carbon copy of each other, but in reverse image, except for this side has the flap open, which allows the staff to come in and out, and this side has the uh, flap shut. And the space in between the two bars is where those two walls come down, which separate the two rooms. So now you've got an idea of what's going on um, in the two rooms. And as you can see, <laughs> I have made up some um, hand pumps for the beer. So there's three on this one, and there's two on the other one. I don't know why I've done it like that. I guess I just wanted to make one bar different to the other, I suppose. But uh, there you go. So what we'll do now is we'll paint them and we'll glue these in situ. And then we can work around the bars, as it were, by adding tables, chairs and other little details. While I've been waiting for the bars to dry, um, I've been working on the flooring uh, on the ground floor and as you can see I have painted it to make it look like floorboards and here we have the stone hearth where the fireplace is going to go. This hole in the centre here is for the cables to come through so this gives you a rough idea of what's, what's going on. So these lines here represent the walls all the way around the building and the idea is is I can glue these bars in situ and hopefully put this flooring uh, in loosely and to check to see if these bars here don't clash with these two walls and here's what it looks like uh, as you can see once that wall comes down it splits the two bars uh, centre of the pub so there's a lot of um, careful measurement going on here but now that, that they are glued and I know that uh, there's no issue with closing the pub up uh, as you can see the rest of that wall comes to the front and uh, you can just about make out the, the bars inside As we're on the subject of bars, um, there's just one little final detail I want to add to go behind the bars, like some drinks here. So what I've done, I've just copied that off the internet and shrunk it down to the smallest size I can get. And what I'll do is I'll just cut out these sections here and then just glue them onto this wall here so it looks like the strings behind the bar we have our bars we have our drinks there's just one thing missing some music so I've decided to make a piano and here is some rough sizes uh, 18 millimeters high 22 millimeters across it's gonna work out about 11 millimeters deep uh, 8 millimeters to the underside of where the guy needs to sit which is just there so it's eight millimeters up and um, yeah and then from then on we can work out a size uh, the, the keys for the piano is going to roughly work out about three mil thick and then we've got the lid and then we have uh, a uh, music sheet um, holder thingy me jiggy me job there so and Here's some of the parts, so let's get cracking. 
So, a piano. Well, this idea came from a work colleague of mine. I explained to him what I was doing, and he says, Oh, pub will need a piano. I says, All right, that sounds like a good idea. But uh, never thought about actually physically making one. It's just a case of super gluing all these pieces together and hopefully we'll end up with a piano. Straight away you glue this side on and it's, it's taking shape already. So with the two sides on, as you can see, it's beginning to take shape and I've just scribed this and this was going to slot into there. So I'll just put some glue in there. Using the good old super glue again, just for quickness, really more than anything. Hopefully, that will just slot in there nicely between the two walls of the piano. Lovely. Now, then, for the keys, just a little bit of card in there for the keys. Like so. Maybe I'll cut a bit that's a little bit wider than that. Looks a bit narrow. I'll take that out and cut another piece. Right, I'm just going to add this six millimeter piece in here for the keys. So I'll just pop that in there. What I'll do is while that's sitting in there. I'll just run some super glue along the bottom edges rather than trying to force that in afterwards because it might be a little bit tricky to do. Right, so that's, that's lined up. As you can see, that's, that's reasonably good. Might have to trim a little bit of this off afterwards. just absorb into the card. So we're nearly there, so that's the keys. See, there's another piece of card to go on top of there yet and a little bit of card to go in right in that corner so we've placed three pieces of uh, one mil card in to that recess that was in the corner and a little bit down either side and then eventually the lid that would go on the piano which would sit in there would then just be lifted up so we can then see the keys which I haven't done yet so that's what we'll do now. We'll cut a piece of card and we'll drop the keys into the piano. And now we have the keys um, placed into the piano. The next thing I'm going to do is the leg supports. So basically I've just cut some 1.5 styrene strip for those. So I'll have one there, and one there and then a little one underneath. Um, which will tie it in. The final piece of detail I want to add to the piano is a little bit of folded copper wire and I'll just super glue them to the bottom of this piano and when I turn it upright it'll look like a couple of pedals like so. Right, it's time to paint this. Right, so that's not a bad little job, that, the uh, piano. And uh, with the bars, we're slowly, and sure, surely, getting the details into these rooms. There's still a lot to add yet. 
So I think we better start making some tables and chairs, I think. And now for some seats. Um, as you can see, I've made up a what looks to be a pew. And uh, that's what I'm going to make. I'm going to make five of these for the bar. Um, so, how did I did it? Good question. Um, basically, as you can see, it's, it's made out of card. And I have a little drawing here of how I've done it. Basically, I've got a piece of card marked 14mm, fold it back on itself, marked 7mm, then fold it up on itself, marked it 6 folded it down, and then cut it off at 6mm. Um, I have done these in previous videos, um, but not like this. And then you just make the side walls up, 8mm strip of card, uh, nine mil to the top radius and then five mil out and then just form this pattern um, yeah it's quite simple to make all this requires is painting but what I will do is I will put a piece of two mil card in there uh, super glued in and that will just help form the base for when I come to stick them onto the bar here just a little quick note um, you can always use a figure as a guide so that his feet is just about touching the floor And this is what it looks like, as you can see, I've already super glued the back onto the ceiling piece. And what I've done, just to add a little bit of detail, you see where that would be flat. I've just got something like a Q-tip and then just pushed that right in there nice and, and then just rolled it. And that just gives it that cushion look. If the whole, once it's glued it looks like it's a, a bit cushion. And then as you side view, you can see how I've curved that back slightly as well. Then it's just a question of gluing the sides on. When you come to do the sides, it appears to make a template. And you just draw around them. But, but because you've used a template, it appears to come inside the pencil line rather than outside the pencil line that way you guarantee the more or less will end up the same they may need a little bit of trimming afterwards once you've taken that piece out just to round the corners off a little bit There you go. Simples, so he says. And now we move on to the tables. And here we have just a basic drawing of roughly what I'm going to do with the tables. And here is the kit. Now, we have our table tops. This one's slightly smaller. I thought I'd just put a little table in the corner somewhere maybe just a pair of chairs either side um, and this is how the tables look once they're all glued together so they just require painting and at the same time as making those tables I made a few extra chairs um, similar to the design of these booths they're made in the same way as you can see but instead of bending the seating area I've just left it flat so it just looks like chairs and I've notched out the top as well so all this is ready for
for painting. So I'm going to be busy for a while now, so see you in a bit. Now that all the uh, painting's done, we can start to lay out the bars. Um, as you can see, I've already made a start. Um, basically, I'm just trying to work out where to put um, the tables and chairs, bearing in mind windows, doors, uh, fireplace here. Um, obviously, this here is where the uh, the wall is that goes up the stairs so that's hence why we have two separate bar rooms as it were um, the tables I'm quite pleased with the way that they've turned out um, and they've gone rock solid I think using super glue it absorbs into the card and uh, yeah they're, they're rock solid there so we know we have the big window here where I'm pointing now so it be ideal to have a pair of chairs and a table there table for two and uh, as for the rest well we'll just kind of make it up as we go along a couple of chairs in there there we have it the ballroom's almost done. Just need some punters now. So while the punters are enjoying themselves, I've uh, decided to lay some flagstones in the backyards, as it were. So, uh, all I'm doing here is just scribing the card at random squares and oblongs just like there you would have done and uh, you've probably seen me do this before as you can see there's nothing you know uniformed about doing this Once that's painted and coloured in, shaded, weathered, um, it'll look quite effective, especially if it comes out in the same shade as the fireplace there. Notice I've uh, cut a hole in ready for the cables. So, I'll just carry on with this for a while. Now we're starting to paint these slabs and I'm using the same paint that I've used on the building. And uh, I'm just going to put one coat onto it. And uh, I'm just liking the way the colour is going at the moment. And what I'll do is, once it's done, I'll just pick out the odd stone in a brown and then go over it with a black wash just to see what it comes out like. And this will form the yard. Obviously there may be buildings going on to this yet, like little outhouses or something like that. Uh, but we just have to see on that score, just doing this for now. Getting right up to the edge, because obviously the white edge is where the card is going to go, so I don't want to be getting too much paint on there. Just pick out 
the odd slabs. So I've been adding the various different browns on and then wiping them off just to see what textures I get. Kind of can barely pick it up, but you can see the various browns and get in there. So what I'll do now is I'll just get some black and just a few places with black now Wipe it on. yeah I like I'm liking the look of that already bit of green now just to tone it down around the edges and that'll be done and now we have the finished slabs yeah I'm quite happy with that All right I don't know about you but I'm uh, going back to the bar well what can I say uh had a really busy week this week um, getting these two bars done um, and adding a few details like the um, pews, tables, the piano <laughs> and the two bars and that almost finishes the ground floor of the pub obviously I'm still waiting for a few more figures to arrive and uh, once I get them I'll be able to glue that base into the pub um, and then that'll finish it uh, well not the complete pub but it'll finish the ground floor and then hopefully next week we shall look at the goings-ons in the upper floors but uh, until then stay safe everybody enjoy your model railways and have fun. Till next time. Bye for now. Bye.